Hello and welcome to the Aftcast Tenerife Afternoons podcast. I'm your host, Tim Dowd. Today's episode, we have an interview with my wife and best friend, Christina. The latest on COVID-19 and the lockdown, plus the weather Aftcast for last week. Enjoy the show and don't forget to subscribe. I publish every Sunday night, ready for your Monday morning commute or just to start your week off with some sun. Here's the weather afcast for Tenerife week ending May 17, 2020. It was a bit cooler and a lot windier than normal last week, making it feel cooler than it actually was. Temperatures are in the low 20s, dropping to 19 at midnight. We had to eat indoors more than once, which is rare for us. We're hoping that the summer sun will soon be out and we'll keep you informed. Be able to return to these podcasts next year to find out what the weather was like on a particular week. Great for planning your vacation. COVID-19, update day 63. Only seven new cases were recorded on Tenerife last week, with none on Friday. Compare that to 16 recoveries, and you can see that we're going in the right direction. We've been in de-escalation phase since Monday, and that means we have a few new rules to abide by and some well-earned freedoms. On top of the exercise timeframes, we're now allowed to go out for fun. That means meeting friends and family, driving in a car and going to small shops and visiting cafes, restaurants and bars which have outside space. Of course, physical distancing is still in force and common sense should prevail. Spain is still only allowing citizens and legal residents to return from abroad, but they have to follow phase zero quarantine for 14 days before being allowed to take advantage of phase one freedoms. Well, enough doom and gloom. Next up, Christina. Thanks to all our supporters, and you can join them by buying us a coffee at our website, www.lwmst.com, and pressing the Sponsor button. If you want me to review a cafe, bar, or restaurant, you can also sponsor the visit. Better still, come over in person when it's safe and be part of the show. decided I talk about PMS so I don't really like talking about it something I got used to it by now but yeah but I think people want to know something how I live and in fact the good thing is it made us come here he couldn't have come here without me having MS. And that's a great life. The good thing also is that I can't see properly anymore, which has advantages too, because I can't see my wrinkles or pimples should I have one. Normally I get up about 10, but that will change soon, because we decided to get up a bit earlier. I do the normal stuff, like put chemo on and <laughs> And then he makes a fantastic breakfast for me. Um, we have breakfast out of the de- out on the deck in the sunshine. Like me, I should say, not take so much. Yeah, and after that, I lie in my chair for a while, listen to my audiobook. Because of course I can't read books anymore. Yeah, and then sometimes we go out and 
sometimes I stay in and study Spanish outside and it by the way. It's a, it's a kind of a quiet life. Sometimes it's a bit boring as well. But some people might wish it would, their lives would be a bit more boring. I just, my mission was not the best, and every time I worked hard in the garden or something, the mission went bad. I have that, that's what I wanted to say. Um, I also have a curved spine, nothing to do with the MS, or maybe yes, who knows. But that makes everything a bit harder as well. Because when I sit on my shower chair, I always go to the left side in America. In Virginia, I love that so much. But I wouldn't love it now. It's all changed, but that's another story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and it all went so slowly. First it was just a, like a bad vision. And then sometimes my legs get tingly on my fingers, but it all disappeared off the bow. And once we came back to Germany, it a bit worse. We were living in Munich and didn't like it there. It was just too hectic. In Munich, there was one point where we went out on a Sunday. My daughter was only little. I saw her running in the subway. And all, all of a sudden, I saw her double. And the next day, we went for a little trip. And I saw everything double. At the time, my daughter was grown up and moved out. It was just him and me sitting in a big house. It was just a big first. Well, so it was nice, but... So... We decided to leave everything behind and move to Tenerife, where it's never really cold. Because the difference in temperature wasn't good for me either. In summer, it was like 40 degrees sometimes. So sometimes we just ate in the cellar because upstairs it was just too hot. And in winter it was minus 20, which meant I was stuck in the house with the big chair and lots of snow. Mostly I like sitting by the sea somewhere and just smelling and listening to the sound of the sea. Going to pubs I don't like much because I don't like the beer here so much being used to barbarian beer. And the Schweppes, bitter lemon I like, most of them don't have it. So I decided now just to order water and bring a... Pina colada tea bag. Right, that's it. But then going to a pub is also hard for me, because people talk to me. And 
and I can't really tell what they do because they look at me and can't see that from then everybody talks English around me which is a bit hard to understand when everybody talks. So I prefer my little life as a what's it called hermit. <laughs> <laughs> You like the hermit life. <laughs> and what is your philosophy? I can either be ill and miserable or ill and happy. Being ill I can't change, but what makes me most happy by being in a nice place that I don't have to freeze again, that I can eat when I'm hungry and sleep when I'm tired. Bye! Thanks for tuning in. We publish every Sunday night, so subscribe to be notified. We have a Facebook page called Living With MS in Tenerife, and you can reach it by searching for at LWMST. Plus we have a YouTube channel at youtube.com slash LWMST. And of course the website at www.lwmst.com. Until next time, this is Tim Dowd signing off. Zzz.